I'm here to talk to you about fear. Fear is a powerful emotion and it can be used to control or manipulate people. But it can also be used as a tool for good. As someone who fights crime in Gotham, I know a thing or two about fear. Fear is a primal emotion. It's hardwired into our brains as a survival mechanism. When we perceive a threat, our body goes into fight or flight mode. But fear can also be learned. Traumatic experiences can create lasting fears that affect us for years to come. In my line of work, fear can be a useful tool. Criminals are often motivated by fear, whether it's fear of getting caught, fear of punishment, or fear of me. I use fear to my advantage by striking terror into the hearts of criminals. But it's not just about scaring them. It's about using fear to create a sense of powerlessness in my enemies. When someone is afraid, they're more likely to make mistakes, to hesitate, or to freeze up. That split second of hesitation can be the difference between victory and defeat. Take the Joker, for example. He's a master manipulator who thrives on chaos and unpredictability. But even he has a weakness. Fear. I've used fear to my advantage when facing him. By confronting him with his own fears, I can throw him off balance and gain the upper hand. There is the psychology of fear in a nutshell. It can be a powerful tool for good, but it can also be a double-edged sword. I hope this has been informative for you. Stay safe out there, and remember, fear can be conquered.